Hey everyone. In this video today, I'm going to be going over installation errors, what causes them, what they are, and how to fix them. First, it's important to note that install errors, as the name would imply, is when there is an error with installing a product. Whether you're downloading it manually, if you're downloading it through the install manager, or if you're downloading it through DAS Connect. These install errors can make it so that we can't properly access all of our content. And this can be caused in several different ways. It could be an issue with your internet connection. There could be a server issue. There could be limited memory on your machine. Or you could be using an outdated version of the install manager. Okay, now that we know what install errors are and some of the things that may cause them, I'm going to be going over how we can fix them. First, I'm going to be touching on how to resolve these errors when you install your content manually. And then I'll show you how to resolve these errors when you install your content through the install manager. And then I'll wrap up by showing you how to fix install errors when installed through DAS Connect. All right, let's jump into it. For those of you who may not know, what I mean when I say downloading a product manually is that you've gone into your account page and then into your product library, then located the product that you want to install manually and scrolled all the way down to the bottom of the page and selected download. Once the files are downloaded onto your computer, this window will pop up and you'll want to map all of the files to their correct location on your computer. So let's say we're loading the character into DAS Studio and we want to apply a certain material option to the character. But when we attempt this, DAS Studio tells us that there was an error locating the file. What we'll want to do is to open up the file list that was downloaded off of your account page and then navigate to the location where the material is mapped. Then we'll want to make sure that all of the files that show up on this download page are correctly mapped in our own paths. To do this, we'll want to take note of this location here, which is how we got to these files on our computer. Let's say, for instance, these three files are not located in this path. We'll want to go over to the download where we got our files initially, drag them over so that they're on our computer. If you've gone through and verified that all of the files are installed to the correct path, the next thing you should do is open up a support ticket with DAS Customer Support. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Moving on to installing content through the install manager, the two most common errors we see when installing content will be an install failed error or a download failed error. And again, there are any number of reasons why this can happen, so that doesn't necessarily mean that you've done anything wrong or that there's anything wrong with the product. So if this does happen to you, the first option to fix this would be to uninstall the product and then reinstall it. And I'll show you how to do that now. What we'll want to do is select the box next to the product name and click uninstall. Once the product has been uninstalled, we'll want to go to ready to install. Select the product box again and right click, select delete packages and the name of our product. Once the product shows in our ready to download pane, we're going to want to close out of the install manager. Then we're going to reopen it and then we'll want to log back in. Now that we're logged back in, we're going to want to select the box next to the product and download it again. Once the product has been reinstalled, if we're still getting the failed error, the next option that we have to fix this is to delete any partially installed files. And the way to do this is to go up to the gear icon in the top right hand corner, select downloads, and then while holding control or command if you're on a Mac, click the three dots right here. Now you're going to want to take note of this path location. You can either remember it or it'd probably be easier just to copy and paste it. Now we're going to want to look for the file that has the name of our product. 
Here you can see I've selected the two files that corresponds to the product that I'm having install errors with. Once you have the files selected, delete them. And go back into the install manager. And since we've deleted the files off the computer, but not through the install manager, we'll need to uninstall and reinstall the product. If you're still receiving an install error with the product after taking these two steps, the next option would be again to open a support ticket with DAS Customer Support. And I'll leave the link to that uh, down in the description. Moving on now to DAS Connect. If you're getting any installation errors or warning messages popping up when attempting to load the product and you installed it through DAS Connect, the first thing you'll want to do is to uninstall the product and then reinstall it, just like with the install manager. And to do that, you'll want to locate the product, right click on it, and select uninstall. Now that the product has been uninstalled, we want to go to available and double click on the product to reinstall it. Just like the install manager, if uninstalling and reinstalling didn't do the trick, we'll want to delete any um, partially installed files. And there are two ways that we can get to this next part. The first being right click on the content library and select content directory manager. Or we could also go to edit preferences, content, and content directory manager. Once we're in the Content Directory Manager, we'll want to click this plus icon so that we can see where um, we install our DAS Connect data to. Now that we can see this, we'll want to navigate to that location. Once we've navigated to the location where this product is installed through DAS Connect, we we'll want to delete all of these files. Once we've done this, we'll want to return to DAS Studio. And just like before with the um, install manager, we're going to want to uninstall and reinstall the product because we've deleted the files from our computer, but we haven't told DAS that we've deleted them. And again, if you run into any installation error that you can't resolve using these couple of tricks, it's best to open up a support ticket with the DAS Help Center. They'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Alright, that'll wrap it up for this video, guys. See you next time. <laughs>